I'm going to show you how to add music to your Instagram stories videos quickly and easily. Adding your own music to Instagram stories videos makes them more fun and entertaining and helps guarantee that people are going to stick around a whole lot longer. Let's get started right now. And welcome. I'm Todd.Live. I'm all about helping solo entrepreneurs get a foothold with their digital social media content creation, particularly with video in YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Those are the platforms that I create the most content for, and I'm here to share my knowledge with you on a practically daily basis. I publish videos regularly on this channel, so be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications so that you know when a new video goes up or if I go live. So let's get started putting music to your Instagram stories. And just so you know, for the sake of this video, I am using music that I have the license to use. Instagram stories does seem to be a place that allows copyrighted music to be used, whether that's right or wrong. That's a discussion for another day. But for the point of this video, I'm using music that I'm licensed to use so that I don't have any problems with YouTube as I teach you how to do it. That being said, let's get started. To add music to Instagram stories. You can do it a lot of different ways with a lot of different apps. My favorite app is called Video Shop. The Video Shop app is a free app. There are some paid features within it. I highly recommend unlocking those features by paying for those features, but that's up to you. But Video Shop is indeed my go-to app. I've created a lot of great content within for Instagram stories with this app, so I think you'll like it too. But let's put music to video. Okay, so to start this process, the first thing that we need to do is record a video on the phone. I have already done that, so we don't use your valuable time just to, for you to watch me record a video. Once the video is recorded and saved to the camera roll, you go to your Video Shop app, which is my app of preference. This is the home screen. The first thing you do is hit the plus button in the top right corner, and you're going to go to the record or import clip screen. We've already recorded a clip, so we want to import a clip. So we open that and there it is right there in the camera roll. It imports it and there it is and we can play it. All right, so I'm just recording There's no this music video for the sake of no music at all. Let's add music to it. Now you simply hit the music button and you've got iTunes sound effects and tracks. Sound effects are things like burping and farting and screams and stuff. It's a lot of fun. You can add those to your videos. Tracks are preloaded music inside vid shop video shop that you can use on your videos. They're royalty free, uh, but we're going to go into iTunes because that's where I have saved music. Now, all the titles in gray are blacked out because they have a copyright protection on them, so you can't use those. The ones with white are indeed copyrighted. I can't use them, and I'm not going to use them here, but for whatever reason, they don't have copyright protection on them, so you know that's fine. Uh, we're going to skip that, though, and go to playlists because down at the bottom, I have YouTube Music. YouTube Music is a folder that I have full of sounds and songs that I've pulled from Epidemic Sound. I am a member of Epidemic Sound, which means I can download any of their songs, uh, sounds and music and all that uh, and use them on YouTube, Instagram, whatever, free. Well, I do pay for the monthly, um, but I can use them at will anytime I want. I have a license for it. So we're going to use Walk the Walk. And there it is, the soundtrack, and we are going to play it just to verify that it is, in fact, a song. Okay, we've confirmed that. I'm not going to do any trimming or anything else to this track. I'm just going to hit done, and it's going to add it right to my video track. While it's loading the music, you don't want to go out of the app. You don't want to go anywhere else, okay? So if you look at the top under the little slider, there is a green button with a musical note in it, okay? That allows, you can push that, it's a button, and you notice at the bottom of the screen now I have some choices. I can close out, um, I've got a few other choices, and then I can click the check mark if I'm happy. The thing about it is, is this music is loud, isn't it? We're gonna lower it. We're gonna lower it. The music is too loud. So we've got all those options at the bottom. The only thing we're doing is lowering it. That's much more manageable, isn't it? You will be able to hear me talk over the music at right, this so point. I'm just recording this video for the sake of showing people how to. Perfect. That's what I want. So after that, I just hit the next button. While it's compiling the video, you don't want to leave the app. You don't want to screw right, it up so and create some sort of a file corruption. Of Here's the preview screen. To... We're not even going to do anything there. We're just going to save it to camera roll. Okay. 
while it's saving the camera roll, we want to leave the app where it is. We don't want to answer phones. We don't want to back out of the app or do anything like that. We want the file to save properly. Okay, camera roll has been saved. Now, simply confirm that it's in your camera roll. There it is. Let's play it. All right, so I'm just recording this uh, video. I don't know why my phone's playing to an Apple TV. I have no idea why that's happening, but that is there. It is confirmed. Simply to load it into Instagram, all you do is click that camera at the top, scroll up when you get in there, and there it is right there. All right, so I'm just recording this video for the sake of... And if I want to send it... How to... If I want to send it, I can send it. I'm not going to because I didn't want to send that one anyway. That's how you put music on a video. So as you can see, it's really easy to add music, any music you want really, to your Instagram stories videos prior to putting them onto Instagram. Super easy. Instagram does seem to turn a blind eye to the copyrighted music. There are apps out there that allow you to use copyrighted music. Video Shop does tend to black out things that have copyright protection on it. Some other apps do not. So what are your thoughts? Do you think the music adds something to the video? I personally think it does. I'd like to hear your thoughts though. Put your comment below and I will respond, but I'd love to hear if you think that adding like a background music to the video when you're doing a talking head kind of a video adds something to the video, makes it more fun and enjoyable for the viewer. And of course, if you like what you see here today, be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the bell so that you are current on all my latest videos and you know when I go live. Hit a thumbs up if you like the video, that's always greatly appreciated. And here at the end of the video, I've posted another video that I think you might like and be sure to subscribe. There's another nice button that allows you to subscribe. Until next time, folks, have a great day. Talk to you soon.